Hey, so we're back. Um, I thought today I would um, show you what we're going to be doing, which is we're going to be making a box for the air filters to isolate the turbos. Um, so basically you can see down here, I want to put a box in between those two turbos. We want to uh, put a hole get there you want to put a hole here and here and have some sort of box that slides in and seals around the turbo so in the meantime what we've done is we've actually plumbed up our turbos through the intercooler uh, I've got a lot of clamps on there right now but eventually what I will be doing is welding up some tubing and removing most of these uh, clamps and uh, connectors uh, but for now they'll suffice um, it'll, it's a good thing to do when you're shaking things down before you actually weld up some tubing. Uh, we plumbed up our, uh, blow off valves as well as the, uh, waste gates. So that's all plumbed up. And then I made, uh, plenty of tubing so that we can get our box in there. And then I've got to w fix a, uh, do a way of, um, uh, mounting the box to the system. I figured I was going to use this bar, which is going to be replaced anyway. So we'll probably go ahead and uh, do that. So the first thing that we need to do is a paper template. So I'm going to take some measurements and <clears throat> I'm going to cut out a paper template. And then we'll uh, show you uh, where we go from there. Now you might think, why do I have a piece of paper and a metal brake? Um, not only that, this is the probably the cheapest metal brake on the planet from Harbor Freight. But you know what? It's better than bending it over a piece of wood. So um, for some things, it's really tough, especially you can't use for any real uh, heavy gauge metal. You can't use the full width of it. But, you know, it works great for the gauges that I'm using and uh, small uh, width uh, pieces. And so um, I've cut out uh, basically the outline of the box. I've put in my circle where it's going to go over the turbo. And now I'm going to just bend a shape into it. And then we'll uh, start uh, cutting things out and mocking up the box. And welcome back to Arts and Crafts. I like Arts and Crafts. But I don't do happy little trees, obviously. Um, so... Anyway, shall we get back to this? So this is a box that we've made out of um, poster board. Um, you can see that uh, obviously we'd have some sealing to do. And I did have to cut out the corners to make clearance for some of the parts in here. So, But when I'm happy with this, we'll uh, put tabs on it and everything so we can bend the box up. And then I'll probably go ahead and pop rivet the whole thing together and then seal it with uh, RTV. Um, and then we'll give that a try. So stay tuned. I'm going to uh, see if I can't uh, lay this thing out in aluminum and uh, put some tabs on it so we can fold it all together. And then we'll start uh, we'll lay it in here, test fit it, and then we'll start... Uh, 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 pop riveting everything together and then obviously I have to make a lid so I'll have a flange that'll go around the top here to have a lid that'll slide off um, and then I'll make some mounting tabs uh, for the box the next thing we have to do is well we're gonna have to put some inlets here and here uh, that'll be for the scoops that um, I talked about in the last update and then we'll have a hose coming from those scoops going to uh, the uh, uh, tubes here so <clears throat> so now that we have it test fit and we now have it uh, marked out and what I did what I do usually is is that when I after I take the template I trace it out and then I straighten out all the lines because my cutting with the scissors is probably not perfect um, so straighten out all the lines uh, and then what you do is you mark the places you're cutting out so you don't arbitrarily cut out places you want to keep. We've put our tabs on here so that we can fold it over into a box, pop rivet it together. We've left the back off because 
that's going to uh, flow through to our intercooler. And we'll make some flares coming off of this uh, to go so that we can cover as much of the intercooler uh, area as possible. Tool-wise, um, I like to wear a pair of gloves whenever I'm cutting aluminum or steel. And then also I like my electric shears. Uh, these are cheapo ones from Harbor Freight, but I've been using these for five, six years now, and they still work great. So sometimes you find a bargain. Sometimes it just falls apart. So let's get cutting. So this stuff comes with a plastic on the two sides. Um, I like to remove it before I start doing my bending. Otherwise, my, it kind of slips in the piece of garbage Harbor Freight brake I have. Um, but at any rate, um, if you take it off, then the bending goes a lot better. So now we got all the plastic off, and I labeled the inside and the outside. Uh, it's symmetric, so it's not going to matter too much. But we're going to want to get the bends right. Um, obviously, all my lines got taken off with the plastic but um, there's some obvious places where we're going to make some bends. So I'm going to go ahead and do those first, and then we'll uh, bend up the rest, and we'll try to fold it together. So now we've got our box fashioned, um, and I've got it in place. I uh, unbolted one of the turbos and moved it out of the way so we can get it in there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fit these guys in there, and make sure I can put everything together. Um, and then the next thing we need to do is we need to put the inlet here. So we'll need to fashion those up uh, with some three inch uh, tubing, weld those on. And then obviously we had to make some room down here. So I'll have to make a piece for that that I can weld uh, in there. And then obviously for this bent corner, we'll put a piece in there and weld it up. And then we have to make our flares for um, going out of the box and to the back of the intercooler. So we don't want just the air to just bounce off of this and flow down. We'd like it to make sure we can get it to flow through. So stay tuned for that.
Okay, so we uh, got our box in and we've got our tubes semi welded up. They're kind of tacked in. Uh, we've got our filters in. And so next we'll have to get the, we'll have to work around this guy right here to get um, our kind of our fan in here. We'll have to bend this out, bend this down. Um, and then we'll start working on the box from there. And this should be a pretty nice compact unit, all fabbed up. I'm just going to weld it together rather than uh, do what I said previously, which was pop rivets. So might as well just weld it up if I'm going to do that. Um, so anyway, I do have to pull one turbo out of the way. So I unbolted it, and I can pull it out of the way and then uh, fit this whole assembly in here. So, so far so good. So, uh, next time we'll uh, finish this thing up and uh, we'll move on to the next thing. Bye-bye.